So the objective this week is very similar to what we saw last week. We are still trying to recognize um, like terms. Our objective for the week is I can recognize and combine like terms. So I just want to remind you, we talked last week about like terms is when you've got a variable that matches the same uh, variable attached to potentially another number. So in this case, 12m is a like term with 9m. It is not a like term with 5m to the second power. Even though they both have an m, the second power changes it. And it's also not a like term to 2mn. That n being multiplied changes that as well. So in this case, we would just be taking 12m plus 9m and putting them together. And 12 plus 9 is 21 plus 5m squared minus 2mn. And it's as simple as that. You just want to find the like terms and then take the number in front, which if you remember from last week's vocabulary is a coefficient, and we're going to add or subtract them. Let's do number three together. 2x plus 5 plus 3x, I see this and this are matches, minus 2 plus 6x plus 20. So I have 2x plus 3x plus 6x. And then if you notice, we have a positive 5, a minus 2, and a plus 20. Those are also like terms with each other. I'm going to write them in a different color because I don't think that green is going to show very well. I'm rewriting them and putting them in order with their like terms. These are just numbers with no variable. We call them constants in a little fancier way than just number. And I could say 5 minus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 20 is 23. So the constants, or the numbers with no variables, add up to 23. 2x plus 3x is 5x, plus 6x gives us 11x. So that's how we simplify it. I know it might feel like it's incomplete, but when we're combining like terms, we are just combining them and not worrying too much about um, having to get it it, there's nothing else we can do to it. It's finished there. <clears throat> the second page is doing some more practice like this. And I would encourage you. Sorry, my document camera does not like this font at all. Um, I would encourage you to try to just use colors and do what I've been doing. 5x plus 2 plus 1. There's only one term with an x and that's 5 and 2 plus 1. Notice the directions here just say identifying like terms. Circle each set of like terms in the expression below. These are like terms. This is not so it stays the same. Down here is where we're going to actually combine them. x plus 4x. It's funny, I got this from Flowcabulary. If you notice up here, that's from the vocabulary video. And they put an equal sign. We don't really need an equal sign. I would write this as x plus 4x because it's an expression, and expressions are not equations. Um, this x has an invisible 1 in front of it, so this would be 5x. So just get some more practice in on that. And then I did give you a puzzle to work on this week. I want to show you the first row. This is negative 8x and this is 6x. Those two together make negative 2x. Where did I get the 16x from? I took 6x and 10x. The x is there because 10x minus 9x. 10 minus 9 is 1. That leaves us with a single x. So I hope you have a little bit of fun with that puzzle. Um, we will not be having live class on Wednesday because Wednesday is the day uh, the teachers are going to do a parade near Thorndike and Cascade View. So I hope to see you outside waving at us as we pass.